great to meet you. Thanks so much for your time today. Oh, um, can you tell us a bit about the writing process that you go through? So when does the germ of an idea go f come from to then become a film? You know, there's a, there, in, a, in a normal process, the, the, I get an idea and I can tell its fertility by yeah, instantaneously. Like I get the idea and it, it sticks to me really and then it starts gathering steam. I, I'll see a movie or I'll read a book and then I'll see a painting and it'll all add to this. It'll seem almost magically like the painting I saw is telling me something directly about this idea and I'll say, oh, the character is going through this. They're in this period and that'll add a color and it'll just keep growing and growing and then there's a moment when it's reached so much of a size that I know I'm making the movie. Okay. And you wait for that and you don't be too anxious because as soon as you start to anticipate, I think this is the one, it'll start slowing down. Okay. You can't, it has to be a very kind of trusted kind of thing and then it's big enough and you go, I'm making this movie. And you're the king of twists, so how do you, when does the twist come in your mind? Is that quite at the beginning of the writing process or, or near the end when you know sort of what's going on? You know, for me, I think a lot of people go on and on about the twists and all that stuff in my movies, but, you know, it's just one dance move in the dance, you know? And maybe, maybe it is the moonwalk of my dance, I don't know, but there's other dance moves and I, occasionally I think it's a great thing to use. In this movie, it's much more straightforward storytelling. It's a drama at the, at the center of it. It's really about the characters. Um, overcoming this tragedy in their lives. Um, so, it, you know, some movies it's inappropriate for, for me to inject that dance move in. But, you know, a lot, a lot of times uh, it, it's really how you tell a story that's perceived as a twist, you know? It's, it's a straightforward story told in, a, in an unusual manner. Okay. And um, Will and Jada are producers on the movie, amongst others. Um, what, when did they come on the project and, and what was it they brought to it? You know, in, in, in Jada came in very rarely into the process at, at, at certain points. You know, Will was more talking to her and bouncing his ideas off of her. But Will and I, from the beginning, kind of, you know, he, would, he had the idea, then I said, let me go away with it and bring it back, and that kind of thing. And I would bring, bring a rich thing of, like, this is what I'm thinking. I would pitch him the whole movie from beginning to end, and then he'd go, wow. And then he'd have questions about this and questions about that. And then we'd start digging into the scenes. Then I'd write the screenplay. And then he'd say, I love this. And all right, these 20 pages are perfect. And then I would do another draft. So it was like, it was kind of having someone to bounce ideas off of. Yeah, nice one. That's a nice thing to have, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Experience. You know, it's lonely, I'll tell you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, was there ever any concern c casting Jaden, or was he always number one for the job? No, he's the reason I did the movie. So when I heard the idea for Jaden is when I, I said yes. You know, it was for Jaden I did the movie. Okay, cool. And the direction on this is quite interesting, because what we saw, there's an, I mean, Will is talking to uh, Jaden through computer and stuff. So yeah. was that hard to direct, or was it quite interesting for you? Uh, very interesting. You know, that's the thing that drew me, the idea of isolating them and forcing them to have an interaction, like, you know, that you're blind to some extent and you're having a conversation with something so intimate with your son, mm. but you can't touch him and you can't feel him. It's so poignant. Nice one. I can't wait to see the film. Thanks so much for your time. Thank Great you.